sat down and done a video I say sat down and done a video I've done my vlogs and things like my little vlogs from Wales um, the Christmas market but I haven't done a sit down with you guys just doing I apologize for anyone who I know Nicole I'm gonna point you out here right now I know you're missing my videos as is my mother-in-law and a few other people that have said where are your videos I have been I don't know Christmas was very hectic I had to do I was hosting this Christmas so it's been very hectic with trying to find I was gonna do vlogmas I managed one day but working well I did do another day but working full-time Monday to Friday with very odd shifts it's very repetitive my weekly evenings so i literally i go to work i come home i'll have my tea i'll watch some tv i'll have my shower get myself ready for bed and then that's it monday to friday so it's only friday that is a bit unusual when i say unusual my friday routine is i either finish at two or three i come home i blitz the flat and then i just chill and then it's the weekends that are really a bit more i do more stuff so i haven't really done much today this weekend or last weekend because last weekend i was still recovering um i had flu cold slash chest infection i want to say it was so it was literally a week and a half in bed uh i couldn't really do much i tried to get up and do a video but it was just as soon as i try and think about it what i wanted to do it was very I literally I'd get up go and get myself a drink sit down and then that was it I was asleep for another three hours so this weekend has been really the first weekend where I felt like I'm in a position to film so I thought I'm a bit late to the game but I wanted to do my 2019 favorites what I thought 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 was it was always my go-to a lot of it is makeup related so it might be a very boring video we shall see but starting off with i'm going to try and section it so the first section i wanted to do was eyeshadows because anyone who knows me especially in work i went through a phase of hardly wearing makeup and then since i've gone back after christmas it's been very not necessarily my new year's resolution but it is something that i've wanted to not really focus on more but wanted to make sure i'm making an effort if ever i'm out in public i have my full face on apart from weekends and even then if i'm going somewhere in particular like if i'm visiting my family it's no makeup if i'm visiting jano's family it's a full face I don't want to subject people to the pizza face and this is why i've got a full face on i've literally put it on for this video so eyeshadows wise you guys would have seen this my Miscos 35E palette now you guys know especially my Halloween videos you will start to see how well used this thing is especially this one I think this one actually shattered um, during my house move but this thing is amazing I haven't actually used this today considering the last time I did this eye look I used my the pink bit but this is for brilliant for i use it a lot i used it on the works christmas works do when i was doing the girls makeup it's very good you can either do outlandish stuff or normal stuff but i normally blend it with my morphe the 350 i think it's a 350 if you know which one i mean put it down that i can't remember and it's in there and it's taken me about half an hour to get ready for this so i'm not disappearing again but this is my was my go-to until 
it got replaced. And I know I'm late to the game on this, but it has been replaced with my blood sugar palette. I got this for Christmas off my other half. And he, this one is my go-to. I know it's been out a couple of years, but, you know, I just love it. I'm going to do it that way so you can't see myself in the, and the ring light is going to blind you. But this guy, I have worn this. Anytime I've worn makeup for work since going back after New Year, it has been this. It is my go-to at the moment. And considering I am very brownie type, neutral eyes well, i say neutral it's always very bold but it's neutral colors this thing especially this top row so this top row especially these three here today i've got all the way so apart from coma all of the bottom row on my eyes today and i've also got glucose and candy floss on jeffrey star posted to, was it today or yesterday this thing is restocking and i would highly recommend getting it i'm just gonna put you're gonna pay i'm just gonna pile it all there so you can see how much stuff i've actually brought into this room to do this video then is my blue blood now this was came out was it may this last year i think it was may last year and again very outlandish for me i don't do color I am boring. I am very boring when it comes to eyeshadow. You will know if you watch my Halloween videos, I use this quite a lot to do those looks. I used it for my skull. I also used it for my works do look. I think it's just a black sparkly, very fitted um, bodycon dress with my cobalt blue shoes. So I thought this thing again came to my rescue. And since I have had this, these two together, I have been a lot more adventurous with the looks that I do, even for work, I'll go in with bright blue eyeshadow, or it's bright red, or it's gold, stuff that I don't normally do, since having these, I would highly recommend both of these, I really would. Those, these three in particular are my go-to. Now, if I am out and about, and I know I've mentioned this in a lot of my videos, I use my Beauty Glaze Textured Shadows Palette Rose Gold Edition. These are absolute, I love these. I was just looking on Amazon. I think this, I've had this a while. And I mean a while. I know they still do it. They've got different variations. And I found it on Amazon. Beauty Glaze are absolutely amazing. I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see it. But these things are absolutely fantastic. I'll link everything on here that I'll show. I'll link it all down below with links and prices. I think this is six or seven pounds. It's not expensive in the slot. And the payoff, look, I'll show you. Burgundy payoff. Well, just look straight away. Burgundy. The payoff is just amazing for the price. I just this was always my go till i got my more luxury ones this is my go-to it still is if i'm in work and either i'm late or i'm in a hurry it's this is my go-to i would highly highly recommend that it's still on amazon and i'll link it below i love this the thirsty palette i am heartbroken knowing that it's not it's they're discontinuing it because the colors these here for summer are amazing the shimmers, again, are amazing. I've used all of them, I think. Yep, yeah, I've used all of them. The only one I haven't dipped into is Quench and... That's it. The only one I haven't used is Quench, which is the yellow, because I just haven't had a time to use it yet. But the Thirsty Palette, if you can find one before, if it's still in stock, they're trying to get rid of the stock, try and get this before it runs out because it is amazing you don't have to use a lot it will last it's tiny literally you just dab your brush in it it is amazing i use see again i just realized i've used the same thing as burgundy but i know a lot of people say yeah you do have to build they are buildable it's not instant color payoff but again it's it's just brilliant get it I swear to you, get it. It's got the browns in, which I swear by. Get it if you can. I think I'm just dictating a lot in this video, aren't I? Yeah. 
we're going for dictatorship today i don't know why it's just become a thing with beauty glazed is these little bad boys i've got my whole little compartment down here just so i can bring in and pick, pick what i want because i haven't got a clue these are i'll do them that way they are the kiss the beauty glazed kissing matte liquid lipstick mini bundle i got this for christmas off john out again these little ones if i come forward but they smell they smell like chocolate mm, they smell like hot chocolate they're just amazing i've even got my mum on them they're just they're amazing they're tiny they are little but you don't have to use a lot they're literally one swipe payoff so in the little bundle again i'll link it down below you get Kristen, Coco K, Leo, Exposed, Dolce K and Candy K. So it's 0 0.02 fluid ounces, but you don't have to use a lot. I mean, they're just amazing. They dry down. They're not, you can't feel them. Like I've got quite a bit on today because I used my lip, my lip liner and then I put Exposed on the top because Exposed is quite pale for me. So putting a lip liner underneath, merging it in together then it's brilliant but i always either go for leo Kristen, okay okay or dolce k there's the, i've got the four that i always use these two which is the candy cane exposed i kind of i promote beauty glazed every single step of the way i will always have them i will i'm, I'm sorry i'm not coming in can you do me a favor you don't have to come in but can you pass me that no one can and the it. free room service on a daily basis. Yes, yeah. Don't try that with me. Thank you. No problem. Oh, thank you. Love Enjoy you. and you. subscribe and pass on Nikki's amazing work. You're gonna share me late. What? You're gonna share me late. You know I always share, and I don't mean in that way of sharing people. Right? Can you do that later? Bye. Oh, is it my nail varnish come off again? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so digress. Lipsticks, they're the only ones I use. I've got a few in my little compartment. I don't bother. They're the ones. But on the topic of lip, I swear by this. And you can get it in Primark in the little walk bit. You know, where you always walk through the eye, where you walk to the tills, and then you have the little grabby bits that you end up spending an extra £15 because you get them. But the Strawberry Carmex Moisture and Lip Balm is just amazing. It tingles, don't get me wrong. I do not, I put it on when I'm getting ready for work. Um, before I put my makeup on and I put it on, as soon as I come home, take my makeup off, this little thing is on, I swear to God. That lip balm, if you love it, that stuff is just amazing. Oh God. <laughs> if you saw that, that's how powdery this thing is. It, it does have a lot of fallout, don't get me wrong. It is the collection Primed and Ready Invisible Setting Powder powered by Witch Naturally Clear. It's got witch hazel in it. This for setting my concealer. But this stuff, yes, it does have a lot of fallout, but it doesn't crack throughout the day. It works really well with setting spray. I a lot of people stay away from collection because of it's on it's it's not budget makeup, it's a very reasonably brief price makeup, and it's brilliant. This stuff is I don't know what's in it. I just love it get it i also use their pressed powder just their normal pressed powder what color is this this is candlelight um this stuff isn't as um long lasting i'll say as this one because i still get where it's starting to come off here and that's because i use this everywhere else it's keeping with the space again i am a collection addict this is the collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Foundation, up to 16 hour wear. It is, it looks so, it's, listen, I use it in Cool Ivory, jump from one foundation to another. I can never find the one that I always go to. I'll try different things, but then I'll always go back to that. It, it feels expensive. It's not. Again, I'll link it down below. I'll put all the prices down next to it as well. I swear by this stuff and a little goes a long way. It's one pump in your whole face and I have a big head. Again, 2019 favourite. Probably going to be my 2020 as well. We shall see. Face still. Again, 
Collection Addicts is the Primed and Ready Dewy Makeup Fixing Spray. This says it gives you that, I wouldn't say it's dewy finish, I'd say it's matte. I don't know if it's because of the amount of powder that I use. I do not like being dewy because I am oily. So by the end of the day, it just looks like a massive oily mess. This stuff does dry down matte. I don't know if it's just this particular one. I wouldn't say it was dewy, I'd say it is matte. But it just gives me that extra two, three hours wear of if I don't wear it, you can tell I haven't got it on within a few hours because I do start, it does start coming through. This stuff locks, it locks your face in. I don't know what it does. It's just a collection. I don't know what you're doing, my love, but you are working for me. Oh, and it's vegan and vegetarian suitable as well. So it's cruelty free. It's more or less my go-to. You've seen this loads and I have the coverage on this. Again, it's the same collection as the foundation. It's the Last Imperfection Concealer in Extra Fair. This stuff, I use it under my eyes and I use it in my problem area, which is my chin. I swear by it. Again, collection, I don't know what you're doing. Until someone can give me something, I, this little thing is amazing. I use it to cut my eyebrows. I do it to do my crease under my eyes. Swear by it. So that is it for lips. That is it for face, I think. Yes, it is. Before I move on to my skincare pile, which is down here. Now, this thing, anyone doesn't have one of these, get one. It is a life changer for me. I used to have my makeup bag that was full to pieces. It, was, it wouldn't close because I had too much makeup in it. Now my makeup bag just has spare brushes because I got my new brush set for Christmas off my mother-in-law. Thank you, Karen. These, it's got two compartments at the back. So I have my face brushes in one compartment, my eyes in another, and also my highlighter brushes. It's then got another mini compartment that has my sleek minis just slots very nicely in the back. It's then got uh, 12 lipstick holders that I normally have my beauty glaze come in here, but they'll just fall over. I've then got my just my normal matte lips in there and then it has just a normal big little section here that has my liquid liners my beauty blender a lip balm and my foundation and my spray so this is my main bit it then has my little drawers that has my concealers and my liquid lips the second drawer has eyeliners eyebrows and mascaras in that one this one has my highlighters you guys will have seen this in every single video which is why i didn't want to put it in my favorites because you know i use them all the time a w7 and again collection surprise surprise and then in the bottom drawer which if i put this down here i swear by these acrylic things i will be definitely getting more of my i get more products my collection grows then it will definitely be getting more of these, especially because I've got a tiny, my tiny little vanity. It just fits perfectly in the corner. And then the last drawer has my setting powders and my bronzers in it. And then, yeah, but currently it is a coaster. I love a good candle. I got this as part of my secret Santa. It's the Yankee Candle Home Inspiration. It is a Christmas fragrance. It's the Candy Cane Forest. Oh my days. As you can see, it's half gone already. I had this in the living room and then I think Jono brought it into the bedroom. It normally lives on his side here in this little space, which is why there's a bit of a negative area there. And he won't let me take it out and put it into storage. No, it has to stay there because when we clean the house or in an evening, this is on. It's always on. Jono loves this more than I do. But Yankee Candles, I love anyway. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I know you watch these videos, so thank you. Jono loves it. <laughs> um, another thing out of objects wise is in this little thing. You might be able to hear it. You might know what it is because I've been using it. I got these because I always wear lipstick and I can't bother to getting it on the rim of a glass. They are oil slick metal straws so you get four straight ones so you get four straight and i think it's three curved i think i've that or i've lost one yeah i've lost one i think so i think you get four or three of these and four straight i love them 
I was like, I would really like them because my lipstick as well, and I've got sensitive teeth, so it's a lot easier for me to use straws recently. And I just thought of recently, I thought, oh, I've seen a lot of people using straws. So I was like, right, well, I'll get them. They come in a very nice little thing, so that's where they live in our drawer. And they also come with cleaners. It's little bristles, little bristle cleaners that you can get right in. Again, I'll link these down below. These were from Amazon. And I just, they're brilliant. Why we've not used these before, I don't know. But even Jono's using them quite often as well now. Fragrances, I have my two, I think this is Dark Knight. This is the one that the lid pinged off at the start. This is always my go-to, so you'll see it's quite used compared to this one. So this one's up to here, this one's all the way down here. This was my daily perfume. Um, and then Jono got me this one, which I think is either the Midnight Heat or dark heat i can't remember but either way the lid is currently on the floor it comes if anyone knows these is the beyonce perfumes they come with a crystal lid um on the top this one has been lost with being in my handbag for work and this one is currently on the floor they're not either they're not too expensive as well um i love these i wasn't expecting this one for christmas this one is just oh, i love it absolutely love it and it stays as well because everyone always says oh have you just sprayed and it's like no i've had it on since this morning they are brilliant perfumes perfume wise though i would definitely get these now hair care i have oh, i've lost one no i haven't I've lost the lid to this um it's the mark hill oilicious moroccan argan oil with lang lang and parma rosa fragrance argan oil for your hair i use this i hardly ever and jenna was my witness i never use heat products on my hair anymore as soon as i come out of the shower and i dry it with the towel towel dry it i put this stuff on and i will put it on my scalp before i wash my hair because my scalp is suffering at the moment and then i'll put it on after i come out on my hair wet i'll plait it and then that's it that's all my hair does but this stuff is just brilliant my ends are looking a lot better and i also merge it with the argan oil Hi hydrating hair mask with moroccan argan oil extract intensive conditioning treatment i'm not sure if it's in asda but i do know it's in home bargains at b&m and i think it's in like quite like the pound savers quality save expel hair care you need to get this little boy intense 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 again i've been suffering with my scalp recently so what i've started doing is especially if i go for a bath i will coat my hair and my scalp in this when it's dry leave it on while i'm having my bath and then when i get washing my hair wash it all out with this stuff your hair will last ages now skincare i recently got this little gift set off my grandma and it is the Champneys Health Spa, a little pick-me-up gift set. It had enlivening shower gel, enlivening daily scrub, enlivening body lotion, enlivening body butter. And they are citrus blush flavoured. These little things are amazing. I use this when I come out of the... I use the body butter when I have a bath, the body lotion after every shower, and then I use the shower gel and the daily scrub together because I don't know about if any of you ever have those dry skin marks on your arms. The daily scrub is brilliant. It's it's very it is gritty. Don't get me wrong, it is very gritty, but it's great for just giving you that bit of a get all the dead skin off. You then use the shower gel, which has microbeads in it. So it just gets rid of the ex excess, wash it all off, come out, put the body lotion on. Your skin is amazing. I love this stuff. Champneys, I just love it. Absolutely love it. As soon as I got this, I was just buzzing and I've used it every single day. Also as well, and I use this every single day, it came with the proactive little skin exfoliating brush. As two settings, as slow and fast, I always use the fast one. I can feel it giving my skin it's very gentle the brush is so soft it's very gentle on your skin and i've always wanted something like this that has a little um but i've always wanted one of these little um face brushes i've just never been able to find the right one and i use it every single day i use it in the morning before i put makeup on because it gets rid of all the dead skin and then i use it just before i go to bed as well which is what they recommended when it came through 
if you can obviously this is proactive it came with the deal um, but if anyone can find one um that obviously doesn't come with the subscription even if you can find one on my house we'll see if i can find one on amazon that's very similar i would recommend using this even if it's just your face wash put your face wash on this it makes a really nice lather and you just feel clean at the end of it i wasn't one for my skincare well my, especially face wise i was just a baby wipes and that was it now i come home from work my my wash my makeup off i don't use baby wipes anymore i wash my makeup off with makeup remover i then use my normal face wash my, and then i'll with my little my little brush and then i'll put my targeting treatment on and my hydrator if i haven't got those then it's my medicated cream and moisturizer so for me i highly get one of these this is a favorite of mine every single day even when i go to wales or i'm at my mother-in-law's this baby comes with me i do not go anywhere without him he is brilliant i think that is everything i think we are currently on 50 minutes yeah 50 minutes of video in and i'll give Jono his bedroom back because yeah, i've officially stolen his room but yeah that is my 2019 favorites i know it's late again i apologize for neglecting my channel it is something that I want to be doing every single week. I need ideas. I come to video in. I have a mother-in-law today saying, what are you going to do for your video? I was like, I ain't got a clue. So if anyone has any ideas, please let me know. You guys know how hopeless I am with video in. You've seen my videos for the last however many months I've been doing this. So please give me ideas on what you guys would like to see. Um, how often you want me to post. If you want me to do more than one a week, then let me know. Um... I'm constantly having Jono telling me you need to do a video, what are you going to do this week? And I'll just come up with an excuse and come out of it. So please let me know what you want to see. Let me know if you like this, if you like this sort of thing, if you want to do a month, if you want to see monthly things, um, what I'm using at the moment, what my go-tos are, then please sound off down below. Let me know. But otherwise, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for listening to this ramble. And I love you. And thank you. See you next week.